that's an interesting idea of in preservation, you know, a lot of the time we want to create the exact, we want to keep the house or the building or the landscape or whatever exactly as it was to maintain that. But mm -hmm. it's interesting that you're carrying on the work and the, the tradition of the work, but still producing a, a one-of-a-kind piece or your own signature on, on everything you do. Well, that's, that's kind of an interesting point, too, is that when, when you're working in working with some of this, what does you mentioned tradition of the work? What does that mean in a, in a particular in a particular line of work? What does the tradition of the work mean? Because there's there is uh, you can define something one way, but then there is the ethic of it or the the uh, arts tradition, which goes beyond just the technical definition of what it is and whether or not you catch the flavor of that I think is important for a person if they're going to fully become or fully, fully be something they need to catch the tradition what is the tradition yes I was thinking more of the 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 use of the tools and the use of the the tradition of, of the work of the actual technical aspect too. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I, I like where you took it as well. <laughs> well, I like to think that good blacksmiths innovated. Mm -hmm. That was one of the reasons they got into it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think they were drawn to it. I don't know, I see a lot of guys today, you know, it's, they're kind of the, of course these guys tend to go to blades, the macho blacksmith. Mm -hmm. you know, big, Swords and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, big tough guys and they're you know, sort of like, uh, I'm a biker, but I'm not a biker. Mm -hmm. I'm a blacksmith, but I'm not a blacksmith. Mm -hmm. uh, so I look more towards, I suppose I'm more romantic than some of these, some guys. So, uh, and I like that. That's okay. I remember when I was in high school, they were talking about, they were, the, the, let's see if you're a romantic. They were talking to a class and saying, these are the definitions of our romantic. And of course, in high school, no guys wanted to say that they were romantic. It's like, gee, that's a dead giveaway. <laughs> Girls didn't mind, but none of the guys wanted to be considered romantic. Right. That's why I did, because the girls said that. So. <laughs> well, it's a good, that's a good point, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, I don't think anybody really wanted to admit that. <laughs> Got some air to live for a little while longer. All right. But yeah, that's a good point. Go the art because girls are keen on it. What else? Uh, smithing. Um, I also like history. I'm keen on history for you. Mm -hmm. uh, so I get to live one foot in one century and one foot in another century. Right now, it's almost like I've got the 20th century stuck somewhere between. It's, I have to live in the 21st now. I never, yeah, never thought I'd get to this point where it'd be the 21st century. <laughs> and uh, but uh, yeah, this work is the 19th century and 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 back farther than that. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to Colonial Williamsburg and they had a post vice like this, and I was asking them whether or not this was a legitimate uh, tool for, to have in a colonial blacksmith shop. And uh, he said, yeah, they have, they had. Books and texts were showed a very similar design in France in the 1700s. So that was a, a fairly common design, fairly common tool, two to three hundred years ago. How much do you uh, uh, communicate with other blacksmiths and what kind of community is there? There's a there's a good a good community. I'm a member of two organizations: Abana, which is the Artist Blacksmiths Association of North America. Okay. And Umba, the Upper Midwest Blacksmiths Association. Uh, but I maintain those memberships more out of a sense of finding out what's going on through the publications. Mm -hmm. And some, I'm also a member of uh, AAW, which is the American Association of Wood Terms. Recently, both Abana and AAW, AAW not quite so recently, offer health insurance. And so that's one reason why I have the membership, <laughs> because. Uh -huh. No, no job that I have has health insurance, so uh, I happen to have health insurance because of my late wife. But once I remarry, that's going to be gone. Mm -hmm. And uh, so 
so I will be able to perhaps join up with my wife on her health insurance, but I want that edge just in case I can't or whatever circumstances I've got a way to have some health insurance. So I mean, by being in the organizations, that gets you in a group which has got health insurance. But it's, you know, you look at the, I like to look at the magazines and, and see where the opinions, the public the opinion is going, what's, what is the, uh, what's the standard, what do people look at? In wood turning, eh, you can take it or leave it. It's a little, it's a little, uh, I like, I like practical wood turning. I'm really not into some of the stuff that I see now, which is more, perhaps, fantasy. I don't know, people take turnings, they make a turning, they split it in half, they turn it again, they split it in half again, and return it, so it's got all these arcs, and then they cut it, split it in half again, and re-glue it, and then carve into it. It's like, okay, now at what point, turning was a step, but it was a step, and I don't, in my mind, being a more traditionalist, I guess I don't consider it a turning. It stopped being a turning when it started being manipulated. It was a turning which has been taken and manipulated. But there are just so many ways that you can do a bowl. I mean, how many curves? You can look in a book and there's maybe between the point where the lines are straight up like this and the lines are straight up like that. You know, well, that's what, 180 degrees? So there's some combination of curves between vertical and horizontal that would constitute a bowl or vessel. And then you can change that again by the type of material that you use, surface treatment, uh, whether it's got holes or not, there's, there's a bunch of ways, but a lot of that has been explored, or people feel it's been explored. Um, that's one reason why, maybe it's a gimmick, but adding iron or steel forged elements to the turns, uh, to me, gives them some weight and helps perhaps push it in another direction. Um, but I just, I'm not particularly fond of myself of, of some of the modern turning work. Is it overworked? Is it I think it is. Unnecessary yeah. kind of? I think it is. I think it's somewhat frivolous. Mm -hmm. And uh, same way in our iron work. I see a lot of iron work which is highly or ornamental and decorative. Cool, but it's a lot of highly ornamented, decorative work. And, mm -hmm. and some expense, to some extent, you know, it's like, oh, okay, whatever, whatever trips your trigger. Just, it's just not my personal preference. I prefer a little simpler. I sometimes see uh, 